Hey there Zelda fans, Amanda Van Heil here for another episode of Zelda Weekly. So did you guys know we are officially less than four months away from Tears of the Kingdom? And yes, I will be doing countdowns regularly until release date. ZREO Second Quest has a merch store now with all sorts of neat things. They have hats, stickers, a mug, a notebook, a few different shirts. I can't decide which one I want. I'm torn between the jersey and the crop t-shirt. I don't know which one I want to get. They're both super cute. You can check out the merch store on shop.zreosq.com and we've got a link in the description so you don't have to remember that. And next month they are releasing a new track as the lead up for the launch of their next album continues, Fair Wind and Following Seas, which is a Wind Waker album and it is going to be amazing. Last weekend we were at Ichiban Con in North Carolina and we had a great time. A huge thanks to all of you who came out to the panel and of course to Ichiban Con for having us. It was a lot of fun. I do want to show you guys though something I got while I was there. Okay. Those are my sound effects. So I know a lot of you like to collect um, enamel pins, super popular at like conventions and things. So I got this one, if you guys can see it, okay. And it looks like a claw machine and I absolutely love it. It came from a Kyoso studio and you can check out their Instagram and see if they have any appearances near you if, in case you wanna get a really cool enamel pin badge also or enamel pin banner also. Check out that ZU enamel pin, which you can get by going to Job Job LLC. Pretty awesome. A big congratulations to AGDQ on raising $2,642,493 for the Prevent Cancer Foundation. They did a few Zelda speedruns, which you can go back and watch on their YouTube channel. All right, so last time I asked you guys what Zelda game you would recommend to a first timer, and here is what you said. All right, Gare Bear Son says, definitely would recommend Wind Waker for a first time Zelda player. It's the same game that made me fall in love with the series. Yeah, I, I, I gotta say, that's a good one to go with. Uh, KCA Wood 89 says, I think if I were to recommend a first game to people, I, it would have to be Skyward Sword. What better place to start than the beginning, right? It's also fairly accessible on the Switch or Wii U, but if Skyward Sword isn't where they want to go, definitely Ocarina of Time. Skyward Sword is a great game, and it is the beginning. <laughs> Ryan Betts says, I'd recommend Zelda The Wand of Gamelon. It's all uphill from there. Yeah, and then, you know, you've got the masterpiece right after it that is Link, The Faces of Evil. Highly recommend it. So if I were to pick a game for a first timer, for the longest time I would have said Ocarina of Time, and I'm replaying it right now, and um, I would not recommend it for a first timer at this point unless you were playing the 3DS version. If you're playing the 3DS version, absolutely. N64 version on the Switch Virtual Console, no. Um, otherwise, I would have to say Wind Waker because it has, an, it explains enough of the lore and it's just a fun, happy, feel-good game. I just, I love Wind Waker. So my question for you for next week, what non-Zelda related song makes you think of The Legend of Zelda? It can be any song from any artist from anything at all. Let us know in the comments. All right, everybody. Well, that is it for this week's Zelda Weekly. I'm Amanda Van Heil with Zelda Universe, and I'll see you guys soon.